Okay. So here, here is the living room situation. Um, I have boxes upon boxes and don't mind those socks I'm washing. I have boxes upon boxes. Here's more. Um, here's my shoes. Here's some of my makeup. I'm starting to wash everything and put everything away. Um, this is how we are looking so far. And it's, it, let me tell you guys, it's been crazy because like I said, I am doing everything by myself. Honestly, I prefer it that way only because I feel like my husband's just going to get in the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I, I, I like it. I like it. I am enjoying it because I'm cleaning as I pack. So when we arrive to the new house, you're arriving with new clean products, basically. Again, I'm at home working. So I work in the mornings and that has actually been keeping me busy. I love actually this job. It's like the best job ever. We're like blessed that we didn't get laid off or anything. That's the thing that has been keeping us motivated, keeping our mind on track. Well, at least my mind on track. But yeah, let me show you guys what else I've been packing. Yesterday I packed. <laughs> Hold up. I packed all my planners and this was all in my room. And here is my makeup situation. I still have a lot more to pack in my makeup. As you could see, uh, I did pack all my palettes that are in the makeup train case that's on that side along with little bits of eyeshadows. But I'm going to pack all this up. I already separated some of my stuff. I have, to I have to wash all my brushes, which I probably should do ASAP. I want to clean all these out as well because they're all dusty. I haven't sat down to do makeup in so long. It's not even funny. Like, I don't even know what my name is anymore. But I have all these down. Look how bad, you guys. Like, the apartments do not care. Seriously. It's... It's bad. Um, I have all these clothes here. I have all these clothes here. And the good thing is that we are selling a lot of our stuff. Um, and little by little, I'm getting a lot of things out putting in our offer up and that's the money let me flip you guys around so you guys can know my evil plan that's the money that we're gonna hopefully use to do some tlc in the house um let me show you guys a little so a little sneak peek this is a little sneak peek you know what i'm saying um so the house someone had the bright idea to paint the house uh red <laughs> and obviously that will be perfect because we have kids but not in my watch you know like <gasps> I rather have it white, you know. So we're gonna paint obviously white, the brightest white, because these walls aren't white, okay? We painted all these walls because the apartments obviously don't wanna pay for shit. So we painted the color that they said that we could only paint. Um, so we're gonna go to Home Depot. We were waiting for the appraisal to go through, so this weekend we're gonna actually go to Home Depot, which I'm gonna take you guys along. That's why I look so fucked up, but I really wanna do this video. We're going to go to Home Depot um, this weekend to start getting ideas um, on the paint. And I want to show you guys an Instagram, which I'll have it here. So you guys, let me make a little room. See here. This is my inspiration. I love her work. I love the detail that she puts in her home. And that's my inspiration. I want to paint white and black. So yeah, that's basically what's going on. Um... I have a lot of shopping to do. I already packed all my palettes. Right now, this is all of my bronzing um, and contouring drawer. And then I had some palettes inside that same drawer that didn't fit in my highlighting drawer. So here's just a few things. Could you believe that 99% of these products are all from TJ Maxx and Marshalls? Yes. Um, except, you know, the Wet n Wild, the CoverGirl, all that is from Walmart. Um, the Pure, I mean, Estee Lauder. Um... And then Makeup Forever, Marc Jacobs, the Nastasia some, somewhere over here, Bobbi Brown, Highlighting Brick. I mean, you know, you gotta get deals, you know what I'm saying? Alright, here is the highlighting stuff. We have some Becca Mac, some Anastasia, Ho that's so Hollywood dupes in here, the Bomb. Some Artist Couture, Colourpop, Positions, next is my blush drawer. Alright, we have all my blushes in here now. We have Lorac, Anastasia, Wet n Wild, Laura Geller. I don't know what this one is, but this one is my favorite. I think it was just like a few, like two bucks or so. But, let me show you guys the best part. Empty, 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 empty empty so i have all these that i had all my makeup in i need to find out an easy way to clean all this because obviously all this is coming with 
Now I'm gonna start. I think I have to do this side too. So I have to do that and then start doing everything in the drawers. So I'm gonna start getting my foundation to just some of it. Um, so like the majority actually are all glass. So I have to wrap all these individually. I'm taking all the makeup with me in my car. I don't trust my husband with my makeup or the delicate glass stuff. So that's what's gonna come with me. I feel like I'll be more, since I'm packing everything, I know what it is, you know? So, but still, I still wanna wrap everything to prevent anything from breaking. This is my foundation. Um, oh my God, you guys, let me tell you about this one really quick. If you want full coverage, I got this one at TJ Maxx. Oh my God. Don't understand me this one. But anyway, um, here's all of my foundations. Well, some of them, the other ones I'm still using in the bathroom. Remember when this was the hype back in the day, the Veramona one? Um, yeah, let's do the next one. This is my skincare. Um, some of them that I keep here. And everything is so dusty. This is how bad quarantine is. I haven't done my makeup in so long. But I'm going to pack this up, roll it up, all the glass things. Skincare done. I put everything um, that is liquid in the bag. Um, but, you know, just a little some some. I didn't think I was going to fill this up. I was like, dang, all this shit's going to be loose. Thank God I wasted all that money when I could have. You know what I'm saying? All right, first box of makeup is done. I'm going to bubble wrap this stuff so it doesn't move and move on to everything else. I think I'm going to just put, keep everything here. I'm just going to wash the boxes and then bubble wrap it and then plastic wrap it. And that should be good. And then I have to wash all my freaking brushes god damn it I totally forgot about these i went to tj maxx um after i think quarantine was up like three weeks and then i went to tj maxx and they're not taking nothing out that's new like seasonal and stuff but there's a lot of things on sale so i got this jelly um this one was for 7.99 and let me open it to show you how incredible this is so it is jelly i don't know if you could tell but it, the it smells phenomenal like super super good and it's just super nice oh my god i've always wanted to try the jelly stuff i don't know who who brought it out first i think it was mount cosmetics but i could be wrong but this was good and then i finally ended up getting this mac highlighting blush and contour i've been seeing this at the makeup cosmetics um in ontario mills and it's always so expensive. So it was originally for 20 on sale, then for 10 and I had to grab it. And because it's on sale, you run the risk of them being swatched. But I ended up getting lucky. And this one was obviously the last one because people were going crazy. But look how beautiful this is. This was um, the Christmas seasonal stuff, I think like two years ago or so. But I haven't even got a chance to use this. I had it in the corner of my room right there on the floor. Could you believe that? Because it's just been so crazy but this is a really good find as well and lastly i picked up this laura mercier um foundation for four bucks only it was originally for 9.99 it's right there 9.99 and um all of my foundation uh for the past two years i've been getting it at tj maxx or marshall's i ended up getting this in ivory and it has like all these fingerprints but i'm telling you because of quarantine nothing else they haven't got nothing else out and then um everything is very empty so um yeah and this one is absolutely new for four bucks in ivory so pretty all right i'm gonna just put bubble wrap on this my mom ended up getting this from her work and packed this up and it shouldn't move because it's like literally full um and we're gonna move on to the next thing which i have no idea what i think it's my clothes but let's let's uh go down and pack more